Mole, was a force-sensitive Dathomirian Zabrak male who established himself as a crime lord during the reign of the Galactic Empire. He was once known as Darth Maul, when he was the apprentice of Darth Sidious, and therefore, a Dark Lord of the Sith. Having trained in the ways of the Force, Darth Maul was a formidable warrior strong with the dark side and possessed deadly skills in lightsaber combat. In addition, he was a scheming mastermind who plotted his return to power despite losing his place in the ranks of the Sith. Born during the era of the Galactic Republic, Maul was the son of Mother Talzan, leader of the Night Sisters of Dathomir. Maul also had two siblings, the Knight brothers Savage Opress and Feral. Sensing his potential, Sidious took Maul as an apprentice while he was still a child. Anointed by his Sith master as Darth Maul, the Dathomirian was raised to hate the Jedi Knights that served the light side of the Force. Desiring to see the Jedi Order fall, Darth Maul trained for the day when the Sith would exact revenge on their ancient foes. The time for revealing the Sith's continued existence to the Jedi came during the invasion of Naboo, when Darth Maul confronted Jedi Master Ki Gon Jinn and Padawan Obi Wan Kenobi. Though he killed Jinn, Maul was, in turn, defeated by Kenobi, who bisected the Sith assassin at the waist. Darth Maul was believed to be dead in the aftermath of the battle, but Maul ultimately survived, emerging a decade after his defeat, during the height of the Clone Wars. Despite learning that his master took a new apprentice, Darth Tyrannus, Maul still believed that he was a Sith Lord. Taking his brother as an apprentice, Maul and Opress held that they were the true Sith rather than Sidious and Tyrannus. He then devised a scheme to seize power on the planet Mandalore, overthrowing the new Mandalorians and installing the Death Watch as the new ruling government. In addition to the Mandalorians, Maul expanded his criminal enterprise, the Shadow Collective, to include the Pike Syndicate, Black Sun, and the Hutt Clan. However, as his power increased, Maul became a threat to his former master's plan, resulting in a confrontation that concluded with Opress's demise and Maul's capture by Sidious. After escaping with the help of his Mandalorian supercommandos, Maul resumed his reign on Mandalore until he was overthrown by the Grand Army of the Republic. Maul survived the end of the Clone Wars, witnessing the Great Jedi Purge of Order 66 and Sidious's rise as Galactic Emperor. Chastened by his former master on the principle of the rule of two, Maul abandoned his claim to the mantle of the Sith, focusing instead on building an empire of his own the Crimson Dawn by controlling the criminal underworld. Ultimately though, Maul remained driven by the desire for revenge, specifically against Sidious, the master who disowned him, and Kenobi, the Jedi who defeated him. During his conflict with the Jedi fugitives Kanan Jarrus and Ezra Bridger, Maul tracked Kenobi to Tatooine, determined to finally end their rivalry for good. Their last lightsaber duel ended when the Jedi Master struck down his old nemesis. Believing that Kenobi had consigned himself to a life of exile to protect the Chosen One, Maul died taking comfort in the belief that he would be avenged once the Sith's prophesied destruction was realized.